Hello Fagoholic friends. Today is Tuesday, April 27th and Linda and I are vacationing in Virginia and um, I promise not to get too involved with plants here. A lot of history stuff but um, Linda um, did um, let me come to the, the gardens at Monticello uh, established by Thomas Jefferson and we did the walking around inside the house part there that satisfied most of Linda's interest here, I think. But um, she did find some lilacs that really appealed to her. But I know there's fig trees here. I've read about it um, before. And there's, you know, some uncertainty about what actually existed here, was brought here by Thomas Jefferson. These might not be anything original here, but maybe... Um, Marseille, and I believe white Marseille, a green fig, they say. And uh, I, I read that there is Monticello purple here or something. We don't really know what that is. Um, there's some uncertainty on that. Um, also, brown turkey, or people here just say turkey, but they don't know that much about figs here. But I did um, talk to um, um, the main gardener, Debbie. Here, uh, she gave me the email address of the curator, um, Gabrielle R R Rousey, and um, I emailed him if he wanted to talk to me about figs. I thought it might help acquire some original varieties that they maybe might be lacking if they have some, uh, you know, list of that. Also, we did a um, a garden or listened to a garden talk and the lady there her last name is Hatch I forget her first name what was it? Lou what? No. Lou was her okay I thought they said something different there but Lou Hatch her husband Peter Hatch was um, the head gardener here for 30 years he's retired and he's written a couple of books and so I got his email address too so um, we make some new fig friends and see if you know, they can give me any more information here and if I can maybe help out in any way. So, really great weather, maybe um, 80 degrees right now, breezy. Um, it's a pleasant time of year here. It can get warm and humid. Um, I guess last summer they had like 10 days in a row and it was over 90 degrees and high humidity and that's sweltering for them. So, um, you know, we're lucky in California, we have low humidity, so um, almost all the time anyway. So anyway, here's some historical figs. I don't know how long these have been planted here in the hedge, and I have, you know, some information from a friend um, that also told me about some other locations where maybe there's figs here, so I may try to check this out. Thanks for watching, and have a good day, everybody.